This morning, I've come down to a local dairy farm to see if I could do something about the number of crows and magpies around the farm buildings. Now, being that we're shooting around livestock, an air rifle is the perfect tool for the job. This morning, I brought with me the Brocock Ranger, which is probably my favourite air rifle from the Brocock range. This little rifle is in 0.22, and I've got an Element Helix scope on there, sports match mounts as always, and I'm going to be using a PAR 007 on the back there just to record footage through. The one thing about hunting corvids is you really want to be up bright and early. Now it's about half past five at the moment and I can already hear them down at the farmyard. I've got the uh, Brocock Ranger already out and ready for action. So I'm going to drive down the track because there's quite often one or two rabbits and that along the way as well. There's one rabbit down. So although I hit that rabbit fair and square there, it ran off to the right a few yards and it was just going around a little circle like it was just about to keel over. So I very quickly just put another shot into it and dropped it straight away, which is one of the beauties of using a multi-shot pre-charged rifle like that. It gives you a very quick follow-up shot if you need it. Well, that rabbit might prove quite useful later. I might well be able to put that out and use that as bait. So as I came up to this doorway, there was a pigeon that had been feeding on the uh, cattle feed there and it flew up onto the fence and I managed to get down on one knee and just give it a nice clean headshot. So being this is a dairy farm, there's always rich pickings for crows. So they're feeding in the yard at the moment, so let's walk on the other side and have a look. So this is what these birds are feeding on, this maze here. So I'm going to find myself somewhere around the yard to set up an ambush and see what I can knock over.
So I've set myself up about 25 metres from that maze and uh, already the birds have started to show a bit of interest in coming back. Here's one. I think that was a jackdaw, but that's just landed. Here we go, they're all coming in. That's a magpie down as well. This is proving quite an effective little hide. So at the moment, I've got a dead magpie out there and uh, it's causing a bit of a raucous as you can hear but I think it's going to put them off landing so I might just nip out and pull that in Well, that actually helped. <laughs> the magpie came down, was cooling right next to it, so just wait that one as well. So we've got a cock pheasant come out, feeding on the maze at the minute. But uh, not really very sporting with the air rifle, and uh, they're out of season anyway. Well, so the action's pretty much dried up here now, but I've had a good bag of magpies, which I'm really pleased about, because they can be quite difficult to control. But as you can probably hear, the tractor's now working in the yard. So I'm going to uh, head out into the fields a little bit and uh, put that rabbit out and see if I can draw in another one or two crows or magpies. Well, it's all got a little bit busy down at the farmyard there. The uh, farmer's out with his son and uh, one or two other guys working around the yard now. So I've come back up the top of the farm and I'm going to use the rabbit that I got earlier. Here's one I prepared earlier. And um, I'm going to just open that out and lay it out in the field out in full view for the magpies and uh, crows and that to spot. And I'm going to tuck myself into the hedgerow as best I can and see if I can knock over one or two more corvids. Uh, before I do that though, I'm just going to quickly top the ranger up with a little bit more air because that's I still got a fair bit in there actually, but uh, I'm just going to top it up so I get max amount of shots. So refilling the ranger is very simple. You'll notice on the bottom here, there's a hole just in this shroud on the end of the uh, cylinder there. If you turn that round, that aligns with a hole within, which is a filling port. So all we do is we take our adapter here, and insert that up into the filling port, like so, all the way home. Turn our bottle, and that's it, that's full. So just bleed that off. 
and then simply pull that out. And that is the rifle fully recharged. Now, just before I go and get set up, I can't resist a couple of practice shots. Right, so that rabbit target is out there at 30 metres. Let's have a couple of shots. Well, there's not much wrong with that. Just for a bit of fun, I'm going to have a crack at this. It's a little 2 2 rimfire case. I love this rifle. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to find yourself a good hiding place because magpies and crows are very, very sharp eyed. Now, to be honest, I'm not holding out a lot of hope for this actually working this morning because it's now probably about nine, ten o'clock and the fields have gone a little bit quiet. Ideally, you want to do this first thing in the morning, just before light if you can, get yourself hidden away and then at first light as the crows and magpies and that come in to feed hopefully they'll spot your rabbit and drop in and they will quite happily tuck into that and it gives you a very good uh, sort of ambush kind of situation where you know your range you can set yourself up and hopefully make a nice accurate shot right i found myself a little kind of hole in the hedge here i've just kicked out a little bit of a space there so um Hopefully I can tuck myself in there out of sight and I'll put the rabbit out about 30 yards away out in the field here. Alright so probably about here looks a good spot. That's around about 25 to 30 yards away. Alright let's open this rabbit up. my exceptionally blunt knife so what you want to do is you just want to get the guts exposed so I open them up like that and then tip them out a bit and stretch them around a little bit like so and you want to leave belly fur, the white belly fur facing upwards, attract attention. And also what I like to do is I like to pull out some little tufts of white fur and just let that go on the wind. And that'll uh, just help to make it look like a kind of a, a kill site, like something's already been feeding on that. There. That should attract some attention. Right, so I'm not brilliantly hidden, but I'm hoping that I'm tucked away into this uh, hedgerow enough for them to not spot me. We'll see. So you do need to be quite patient doing this. As I say, first thing in the morning is usually the best time. But um, I've had some quite good mornings in the past, like shooting magpies and crows off a bait like this. Right, well, I've given it probably half an hour 
tucked in this in this hedge surrounded by brambles and nettles and um, I've not had anything come in but I'm not really too worried because I've had a good morning on the magpies and that anyway down at the farmyard so uh, hopefully that'll just um, give you a little tip anyway of something to try next time you're uh, out and want to try and bag a magpie or two. Right, let's see if I can get out of here without getting stung to death. So you can probably see why it is that I like the little Brocock Ranger so much. Lovely little compact rifle, looks really cool as well, very accurate, and um, it's just perfect for like little round the farmyard and stuff when you're sort of in and out of little buildings and things shooting around doorways that kind of stuff and also from shooting from a vehicle and as you can see it's proved very effective today well all in all i reckon that's been a pretty successful morning out so i hope you've enjoyed the episode thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe if you aren't a member of basque it's time to join now basque looking after your sport Looking after you.